Hey everybody and welcome to my home studio. My name is Dirk Ehlert, I'm a composer for uh, film, games, TV, libraries, etc. And I've been uh, working for a long time as a beta tester and demo writer for various sample libraries. And I've been working with SoundIron for more than seven years now. And they got me on board to check out their latest uh, release, Hyperion Strings. Uh, which they start off with Hyperion Springs Micro. It's a great little library with a very modern sound, chamber-sized orchestra with all the individual sections with short and long articulations. And actually Sonari came over to look over my shoulder while creating a little track with it. And I hope you enjoy the video and as much as I enjoy the library and have fun. Uh, played in this little line with the basses and I'm just tweaking the melody there. Sometimes I just play in a melody and I'm not sure where it's taking me or where it's going and then I tweak and edit the stuff in the piano roll to match with um, wherever my mind is heading to. I think also we need to quantize that a little bit. Yeah. And it's missing the first information there on the mod wheel. That looks better. And now, what I do is, as I've changed, as I've said, I've changed the double basses and the cellos. So now I'm gonna make sure that we have the right articulation of the cellos, which is sustained legato. Going for a little bit of dramedy or something. Missing my triangle, like ding! <laughs> it's pretty fun. The cool thing is um, that you not really realize that it's just two round robins. It still sounds pretty cool. That's fun. Actually, that could be a pretty interesting sound when you or a delay or something on top. It's a pretty nice sound. And I think that might be a fun thing to do with the filter. So let me just try that. Uh, 
actually what I'm going to do is duplicate this and then we have a filter and let's learn the cutoff to a MIDI controller and then just record this whole thing Interesting effects there. in here like a uh, pumping effect on, on the strings there and actually we want this to be quarter notes make a little bit more room for the They sound too natural, so let's make them a little bit more artificial by cutting into the sample with a less attack or a more more sharp attack. It's, it's kind of different <laughs> what we initially started with but sometimes I mean the greatest thing that can happen is when a library inspires you to just come up with something and uh, suddenly you come up with a track that you haven't even thought about in the beginning when checking out the library so uh, totally different direction but I like it where it's going <laughs> Held. Right now there's not much happening, but now I want to groove influences the bass line. Now let's add this in the second run.
I need a transition sound there before the beat kicks in. Drop that on the four. Where are we at? And we're going into a good direction here. I just want to enhance the melody line that we had on top there. And send this to our reverb that we have already. It's different than the usual stuff, which is nice. Uh... Let's give the choir a little riser before the last chord there. So ah, let's go with the women risers, not with the men, right? Oh, there, there, there we go. There we go. I think we're nearing completion. <laughs> 